Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you a practical example of a Shopify app. I recorded a lot of videos, like I don't know eight or nine videos so far, but once I noticed, what if you haven't seen a practical Shopify app? So before you build what the one that you want to build, you have to know like how other apps are functioning and how other apps look. So in this video, I'm going to install an app in my store and then I'll show you how the backend, is, the backend of the app is going to look like and how the front end of the app is going to look like. So from the app, from the shop that I have here, you can visit the Shopify app store from here. I think I am going to log out from this account right now if I refresh it because I haven't used it for a while. And if it does for you, just log in again. So I go to the Shopify store here and I, I will start installing one. I know a lot of them, so I will uh, start by like, let's say installing a smile. They are not like a sponsor of the video or anything, but I like this app and it is nice. They have a free uh, plan also available, so it is very popular too. This is a reward and loyalty app. This app is going to give your customer reward. Let's say if someone purchased like order of above 50, you can give them like point. Later, they can use those points or referral to purchase more item and get discount. So it is very nice and handy. Like Shopify does not do that out of the box. So this app will help you. And if I check the pricing, very solid. And as you can see, they can make a lot of money out of these apps, which is really nice too. So you click on the add the app. I'm going to show you the back end of it. So how it looks like when you design your app, it should look similar. Here is like the example of what they are going to access from my store. I say yes, install it. And then it should uh, send me to another page which is the authentication and after here like you have to enter your email so I will just enter my email it doesn't matter if it is your email or not but it is very important because you can directly log into smile.io too so I will use my own email and I will uh, enter like some password also and then I will create my account so next up it is going to set up my store now your uh, app should look like the same or your app should do similar things but for now this is what we want so what is your brand name i'm going to say code uh, inspire so this is how it looks like in the bottom of your page so to give the customer reward for now click next the configuration is really easy and i will quickly just the branding is look it looks fine and from the industry let's see I am going to say it is clothing and fashion which is not bad I make let's say there's much amount of money these are the things that the app is going to ask you and they save those sitting in the back end now if I start the program it is going to build my app like uh, everything it is going to install some script in my active team and it will redirect me to the dashboard of this app as you can see the app is running here now if I come to my store, refresh my page, here is the app. Now if you click on the app, again it opens in a new tab. The thing is, some apps run in the new tab, but some apps run like embeddedly. For example, if I click in this one, as I said, I have already recorded the video and I am in this portion of this. So in the next video, you will see how I do this one. I'm not doing most of the things behind the scenes, so you will see how I build this stuff too. So for now, as you can see, this is the dashboard. And this is the dashboard of the app. Your app should look similar. For me, it is not currently like that. That's why when I designed the dashboard of my like app, it should look nice and clean. As you can see this app, you go to program, it is very fast and it is really easy. It is similar to Shopify, but it is really nice and handy. And your app should look the same. This is how you can, let's say, change the setting. You have customer, performance, branding. Now this is, of course, not similar to our app. We are using completely different technology. They are using different technologies. So this is the example of how the app is going to look in the backend. So I hope it has been informative. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video where we will customize our app and add more features.